Thank you very much, Ambassador, for your uh, very sincere and nice talk. So, uh, my name is Farouk Taban. So, he mentioned I'm the president of the Turkey American Alliance. So, I'd like to welcome you again, uh, the, the members, ambassadors, uh, all the distinguished the guests we have, and our members also from. Um, component organization nationwide, they are all here. So we, we are going to attend the, the briefings also in the White House and the State Department tomorrow. So it's a very important and very special day. So before the further ado, I would like to uh, invite uh, the Congressman uh, Todd Rotika from, from Indiana for his uh, remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm supposed to be in a, uh, a WIP meeting right now. And uh, I'm very pleased to be here for no other reason than the food is much better than we get at the whipping. Uh, no, this is very important to me. And it, as a new member of Congress, I know we have other members here that uh, have a much longer relationship with you all and that you need to hear from, so I will, I will be short. But this relationship is important to me. Um, in fact, as the ambassador mentioned, he was just in Indiana, but not two days ago, Ambassador Tan. And Indiana had not seen a Turkish ambassador before this man. So he is uh, doing a, a phenomenal job. So the old saying, as the old saying goes, it's good to hear from the horse's mouth. And that uh, certainly is Ambassador Tan. He is our Turkish horse, <laughs> at least in Indiana. But we don't have to hear from the horse's mouth each and every time. In fact, that's how I've started to build my relationship uh, with uh, Turkish Hoosiers. Uh, folks like Bilal and, and or Sal Azmir and others in Indiana uh, who are doing so much good work uh, with no ulterior motive uh, whatsoever but then to be, but to be good Hoosiers. And so uh, we don't need the horse's mouth for that. We need all of you uh, to keep building that relationship and, and keep helping. I was also struck today when I was asked to help cut the ribbon. I did not, I feel, deserve to be cutting any kind of ribbon. I had nothing to do with this. And I said so. I said, today is your day, uh, not my day. And I was quickly corrected and reminded, I think by your president, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that no, today is our day. And I think if we had that attitude every day, that it's the world's day, it's our day, perhaps we'd, we'd get along much better in the world. So thank you for that lesson. I'm off to eat bad food, <laughs> maybe get yelled at at the WIP meeting, we'll see. And I'm sure we're going to hear from some excellent speakers coming up, but it's an honor and a privilege to be with you and to represent Indiana uh, here today. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, so uh, next, uh, uh, I'd like to... Uh, the, the Congressman Fielder? Please, we have uh, the Congressman Phil we were at the, uh, the trip to Turkey uh, a couple of weeks ago. Good morning. <laughs> Congratulations, Karuk, on your new uh, offices and uh, home for the uh, Turkish American Alliance. What you're doing is extremely important, and that is establishing you know, a real people-to-people uh, -to -people tie. I've had a chance to go to Turkey a couple times with uh, one of the affiliates, Pacifica Institute. Well, they still have a lot to learn about lobbying. The first two people they sent to see me were named Attila and Genghis. <laughs> and I said, this is not a way to welcome a congressman. To <laughs> but, uh, you know, the nature of uh, our relationship between Turkey and the United States is radically changing. It, it used to be based purely on military ties and generals could go to the Pentagon. Now we have to have a people-to-people -people, uh, relationship and you're doing an incredible job. I see all these people on the wall. I don't see my picture by the way. Uh, I'm leaving and, uh, uh, and we, we have to establish a whole new way of, of dealing with each other. I had never been to Turkey before. I've now been there a couple times. I saw a new Turkey I think in terms of issues like human relations, I mean uh, human rights, and uh, people in this country have got to know that. And uh, what I came away from my trips to Turkey thinking is that, you know, uh, not only do you feel like you're at the center of the world when you're on the Bosphorus and you can touch, you know, Europe on one hand and Asia on the other, but with an Islamic 
secular nation, democratic nation. You were the ones who could get Iran and the, and the Security Council in Istanbul. I think you can play a role in the Middle East that no one else can play. So we need to have a strengthened Turkish-American relationship because I think Turkey is the key to a stable and peaceful democratic Middle East. Thank you for what you're doing every day. Thank you very much. So now I'd like to uh, introduce the Mr. Ambassador of Kyrgyzstan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President, dear friends, colleagues. Uh, it's a great honor to me to be here with you and to, to participate in this very important event. Uh, I think it's very close for our hearts, for Kyrgyz people. As uh, uh, Kyrgyz people, we share excellent relations with all the Turkic countries, and we speak almost the same language. We can easily understand each other. and. The Turkic American Alliance, what you are doing here, I think this is great. This promotes our relations here in America. This promotes our friendship, which builds a good relations and which promotes with uh, all the Kyrgyz American and also the Turk as well as Turkish American and all the other relations in this state. I would like uh, Kyrgyzstan is a still young, uh, new democratic country. Uh, we this year we celebrate our 20th year of our uh, independence so uh, we want to say that we will celebrate this year of 20 years of our young democracy and kyrgyzstan is the only country which now established new parliamentarian country in the country in the governance system in kyrgyzstan we all really appreciate that uh, we here and as ambassador of Kyrgyzstan, we promote the best relations with America. We learn the best democratic reforms in America. We learn how to promote better, uh, better human rights uh, values to share in this country. I would like to thank you all of you. I wish you good luck, success, and. I think I, I believe that we will be also very active to work with this organization, and I promise to be active too. Thank you very much. Okay, now I'd like to introduce the the, the Congresswoman Fudge from Ohio. So, if you say a couple of words, Congresswoman. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, it is my pleasure indeed to be here. I thank you for inviting me. Uh, as well as I want to thank you on behalf of all the young people in Ohio that you educate in your schools. I had the opportunity to be a judge at one of your science fairs and it was just fantastic. I look forward to our work uh, as we go forward. I'm certain that we are going to continue to develop the kind of friendship that I think is going to be good for both of our countries. And with that, I thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, uh, Congressman. So I would like to, uh, uh, before I uh, introduce the last uh, speaker, I'd like to uh, invite over here. So we have, uh, after the, you enjoy the, uh, the, our, uh, the kind of a brunch, so to speak, so we have the kebabs and everything, so it's kind of a weird for the morning. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I'd like to show the to our Turkish hospitality anyway. And uh, please, uh, we have a roof uh, top. Uh, uh, they're in the next, we have the 11th floor, so uh, the 12th floor is the rooftop, so uh, we prepared a Turkish coffee uh, serving upstairs, so before you leave, uh, please enjoy the conversation and everything, but before you leave, so you may want to enjoy the view and the Turkish coffee upstairs, then, uh, you know, just uh, come and talk to us, and if you have any questions. So I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Ambassador this time uh, to, uh, to forward uh, his couple uh, of like, the remarks. I have a difficult name. <laughs> my name is Mark Michelli, I'm the Ambassador of Malta. I am here basically to add my support to what's going on over here. I'm very pleased to see what's going on. Um, you have a lot of support, as you know, in North America because of what you are trying to do in the Middle East. 
you have a lot of support in the Mediterranean from countries like us, where it's obviously in our interest that we see peace um, in that region. Our future depends upon peace in that region, and we admire what you are doing. I also admire what you're doing in another way. You've set an example for me to organize my, uh, the lots of Maltese communities which are less numerous than yours on a similar basis as yours. So I will be looking into what you're doing, so we try and organize something on the same basis. Congratulations, and thank you for having me here. All right, thank you. So I enjoyed the food, so thanks for coming. So we're really uh, uh, honored to have you uh, here. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm.